it's Pia, you're watching Kini News. Police have recorded Dr. Mahathir Mohamad's statement. This was over an investigation into remarks he made on the royal institution. Police have confirmed that they recorded former Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad's statement yesterday. Bukit Aman Criminal Investigation Department Director Mohamad Shuhaili Mohamad Zain said Mahathir's statement was recorded to assist in the investigation regarding disparaging remarks made against the royal institution. The remarks were published by a news portal on June 6. She said statements were also taken from former Pejong Federal Territory Chairperson Khairuddin Abu Hassan and former Pejong Deputy President Marzuki Yahya. Shuhaili added that the case is still at the investigation stage. He advised the public to not speculate or share wrong information to disrupt the investigation process. In a statement, he said the case is being investigated by the Classified Crime Investigation Unit, Division D5 Bukit Aman Criminal Investigation Department under Section 41 of the Sedition Act 1948 and Section 233 of the Communications and Multimedia Act 1998. Zahid has shot down talks about AMNO working with PAS again. He said AMNO does not have any intentions of revisiting cooperation with manipulative parties and leaders. AMNO President Ahmad Zaid Hamidi said his party does not intend to revisit cooperation with manipulative parties or leaders. He said cooperation should come out of sincerity and not from people with manipulative and crafty moves who are full of tricks. Yesterday, past Deputy President Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Mat also raised the possibility of reviving the Mufakat National Alliance. However, Tuan Ibrahim ruled out teaming up with leaders who were willing to cooperate with DAP. He said the Mufakat National Alliance was still popular with many of AMNO's grassroots and the platform is still open. He added that PAS, with Bersatu and Prekata National, believes that the Ummah needs to be united and work together to rebuild the nation. Tuan Ibrahim had said this while commenting on the statement of former AMNO Supreme Council member Tajuddin Abdul Rahman, who expressed the need for the spirit of Mufakat National involving PAS and AMNO to be revived. Meanwhile, a former PAS MP has questioned if PAS is out to conquer and divide AMNO leaders. Khairuddin, who is now with AMNO, said political cooperation should be sincere and not be based on hidden intentions of trying to break up allies. Former PAS lawmaker Muhammad Khairuddin Aman Razali said PAS is trying to create a negative perception towards the federal government with his offer to work with AMNO again. Khairuddin, who is now the AMNO Ulama Council Executive Secretary, was referring to a remark from PAS Deputy President Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Man, who said that the party is ready to work with AMNO once again, but ruled out teaming up with leaders who were willing to cooperate with the AP. In a post on Facebook, Khairuddin pointed out that BN is working with Pakatan Harapan as a whole and not only with the AP. He said the formation of the unity government was as decreed by the Yandi Pertuan Agong after GE15 where no party had a majority to form a government. However, he said PAS was trying to build a negative perception towards the cooperation between parties in the unity government. Khairuddin added, that the political cooperation between BN and Harpan was decided by AMNO Supreme Council in line with the situation after the last general election, and it was not any individual decision. He also questioned whether PAS is working on an agenda to divide and conquer AMNO leaders, claiming that it was what PAS had previously done towards the end of the cooperation between the two parties at the federal level. Elaborating, he said political cooperation must be based on sincere intentions to unite the people and the spirit of welfare, and not upon hidden intentions of trying to break up their allies. Khairuddin added that Tuan Ibrahim's statement reminded him of the time DAP said something similar about willing to work with PAS again, but not its leaders. He said at the time, PAS leaders had strongly criticized DAP for those remarks, but he pointed out that PAS seems to be doing the same thing today. He added that this is normal, as something that is haram for others becomes halal, if PAS does it. Previously, Tuan Ibrahim reportedly raised the possibility of reviving the Mufakat National Alliance between PAS and AMNO, saying it was popular with many AMNO grassroots. However, he said they must get rid of those in AMNO who have a personal agenda and are willing to ally with DAP. 
we are often faced with nutrient deficiency needed for our body. This is why I choose G-Sure. G-Sure is the first plant-based and complete nutrition drink that helps to improve the immune system and strengthen our bodies. It has to be. Good morning, G-Sure. A minister has clarified that a music festival held last Saturday was not organised by the government. The event had received criticisms after a group of Tafi students were seen in the crowd. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department for Religious Affairs, Muhammad Naim Mokhtar, has clarified that the music festival held last Saturday was not organised by the government. He said a programme which was held in conjunction with the Golden Jubilee of fast food restaurant KFC in Shahalam, Selangor, was organised by the private sector. The concert had stirred controversy after a group of young Tafi students were seen at the event. This had led to Prikatan National Youth Chief Ahmad Fadli Shari questioning the rationale behind inviting the students to the concert. In a post on Facebook today, Muhammad Naim said that the organisers of the event had explained that the invitation to the students to attend the carnival programme and concert was done by a third party who sponsors the underprivileged and needy, including Tafi students from the Rohingya community Madrasa in Shah Alam. Muhammad Naim also advised all parties to be more careful of religious sensitivities as well as Eastern values and practices when organising programmes. He said programme organisers must also take into account content appropriateness and its audience, especially Tafi students and youngsters. He added that his advice is to let the issue serve as a warning to everyone to ensure they follow the guidelines that have been prepared. Muhammad Naim added that he has also asked the Department of Islamic Development Malaysia to call the relevant parties to take appropriate action. Lim Lip Eng has demanded a public apology from a Basatu leader and passed over the claim that China nationals were being granted Malaysian citizenship. Kepeng MP Lim Lip Eng has demanded a public apology from Bersatu Information Chief Razali Idris and PASS. This was over their claim that some 54,000 China nationals are in the process of being granted Malaysian citizenship. In a statement, Lim gave Razali and Pass 24 hours to withdraw their allegations and issue a public apology, failing which he would lodge a police report against them. Lim claimed the allegations made by both parties were false, slanderous and malicious and violated sections in the Penal Code, the Sedition Act, the Communications and Multimedia Act and the Printing Presses and Publications Act. The allegations about the China nationals had first emerged on social media earlier this month with a viral video claiming that they were being granted citizenship to become DAP voters. The Ministry of Home Affairs has since issued a statement denying the claim, saying that the video footage was intentionally edited to manipulate Home Minister Saifuddin Nasution's speech from January. However, last Sunday, Razali had urged the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission to investigate the Home Ministry, Home Minister and the National Registration Department over the matter. PAS had amplified Razali's demands by posting a series of tweets similarly asking for a MACC probe against the tree. Three BN members has failed in the legal beat to challenge the exemption given to AMNO over their no-contest motion for the top two posts in the party. The Kuala Lumpur High Court dismissed the judicial review leave application by three BN members to quash Home Minister Saifuddin Nasution Ismail's exemption against AMNO's deregistration. Judge Amarjit Singh denied the legal bid by Sataria Abdul Karim, Zaidi Abdul Majid and P. Velasami during open court proceedings this morning. He ruled that the judiciary has no jurisdiction to hear cases involving internal matters of a political party as stated in Section 18 of the Societies Act 1966. The court made no order for cost. Previously on March 7th, Saifuddin revealed that he exempted AMNO from a law that could have seen the party deregistered over its upcoming polls. This was after AMNO barred contests for the AMNO presidency and deputy presidency positions. Following this, the three BN members went to the civil court with the judicial review leave application. According to the case papers, the BN trio contended that Saifuddin's decision is invalid for contravening Article 8.1 of the federal constitution. They also claimed the minister's exemption discriminated against AMNO members' rights but the political party's constitution to contest for the top two posts. The three added that Saifuddin had not given a reasonable explanation until now.
And that is all for me today. For more stories, you can now go to kinetv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and Facebook for the latest news updates. If you'd like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Pia. Thanks for watching.